Welcome back to Culture Clash Reactions. My name is Fen. My name is Akasha. Hope everyone is doing well. We are revisiting a video that we did about maybe a month ago. Uh, it was our introduction to Matt Reif, and it was uh, the one where it's called Milf Cookies. Remember the, the whole cookies. thing? Milf and Cookies. Yeah. And uh, we had a huge response for it, and then everybody who saw that video and saw that we were like having a good time to it and enjoying it yeah. and whatever and commenting on it said hey guess what he's been back to iowa since he's on his tour and guess who was in the audience oh i'm sure so i'm sure she was, she was in. apparently she's taken full advantage of that whole thing i literally and after like a TikTok and stuff. after we watched that i mean i'm not hating on her but after oh, we, no, please do after we, <laughs> i'm not you after Sorry. we watched that video mm. i um one did like a little bit more watching of Matt Rife. Okay. And I actually really, really like his crowd work. Okay. I think it's really funny. He's like super quick witted. Sure. So he's grown on me. I do like him a lot more. Mm -hmm. But I was looking up that video on his Instagram is pinned as like the first one. Sure. And I saw it and she obviously commented on it and he pinned that comment. Pinning it just means you save it. I know you don't Got have it. Instagram. I don't have any social media. Yeah. I'm a complete fucking. So I, of course, yeah. started stalking. So I clicked on it. Right. And she has taken full advantage. And even her like posts, like like it's posts of her like sexy. eating a hot dog like Oh, she's one of those. <laughs> if why can't people just be hot and just be like and understated? She, that's the hot. thing. She is hot. She that's looks what so I mean, good so for just her be age. Hot. So you don't have to do anything. Right. But then you can tell she's like milked it a bit more. But I mean, whatever, do it. Like do it, I girl, guess. whatever. It's not I hurting guess. anybody. But it's just funny because after we watched it, I went in like a little hole and I started like looking him up and then looking her up and yeah she's definitely milking well her. apparently she's back in the audience of course she found i don't know if maybe his management had set that up Probably, maybe for yeah. a bit possibly i don't or know or maybe he, she just came you know i don't know it could be a bit of both um but shall we see what happened yeah I let's give it. it a go yeah last time i was in iowa a woman gave me cookies on stage <laughs> her name's christina and i haven't spoken to her in forever is there any chance she's at this show Wait, shut the fuck up! Christina! Oh, I love this. Oh my That's god. My favorite. Oh, they god. pulled me off. Oh, stop. Don't show me feet. I was feet. hoping this wouldn't happen. I'm in the front row. With her squeaky tits yeah, up in here. <laughs> How have you been? Your daughter's great. Yeah, what happened? Okay, clearly there's a lot of people here who have no idea what happened. Um, Oh yeah, I forgot her titty squeak. I forgot about that. <laughs> do they still squeak? Shut the fuck up! Dude. How does she do that? What? You never changed up. You are still the original Christina, and I adore you. One more time. Welcome to Iowa. <laughs> That's what happens when you get your titties on a pet smart. <laughs> <laughs> How's Maggie? Tell the rest of help. You know what? Call her. <laughs> Can I call Maggie one more time? For real? Okay. Tell him you're sorry. <laughs> you're so hot. <laughs> Good to see you. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> How are you? I'm good. The three of you look fantastic. <laughs> Trying to be. <laughs> Are you still in Florida? Yes, I'm in Miami now. You in Miami <laughs> now? Well, Miami. we lost a good one. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have a bath bomb in or is it just dirty? <laughs> oh, okay, I thought you were just washing Miami off you. <laughs> All right, 
I'm gonna get back to, 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 to talking to your mom. I just wanted to say hi real quick. Yeah, right. hi it's literally just her and I and not 3,000 people, so. <laughs> <laughs> Your OnlyFans subscribers are about to go way up. <laughs> Bye, Maggie. Matt Rife at it again there, trying to get a double team going on with the mother daughter. As if he didn't the Funny. first time, I bet he bloody well did. I don't but think he double teamed with the mother and daughter. I think <laughs> I, the mother I, daughter. I, he probably did. boned them all. Go on, Matt, lad. Go on, Matt. I'm sure. Give me some knuckles. Go on, lad. <laughs> Uh, I think just because we're so like cool and like besties and stuff, I think sometimes you forget that like I actually am still your wife. Yeah, so maybe sorry, just, my like... bad. Uh, anyway, <laughs> um, enjoy that. Yeah. Yeah, fun. Um, Plus, I told you I have a little crush on that right. I know. Well, this is the thing. When we did the last video, I told you um, that he's like a bunch of his fans. All obviously, I say. Uh, but interestingly, sorry, I'm going off the point here. I saw him on. I, I really like. Um, uh, yeah, I always forget how to say your mama's house uh, podcast with, um, fucking hell, somebody's yelling at the TV right now. It doesn't matter, doesn't matter. Comedians Christina and and Tom Segura, thank you. Um, they have their podcast, but I'm sure I saw it, it was just him and Tom, and he was talking about like I don't know if you know, but right now he's going through. I saw he's going through a controversy. He's not going through a controversy. They're trying to cancel him yeah. or whatever. Well, because he he's got really like it's like girly mom fans or whatever, and he made a joke about like a joke. And by the way, it was a really tame joke uh, about um something about uh, a woman having black eyes and the reason she had black eyes because she wasn't cooking or washing the dishes or something like a silly joke yeah. or whatever. like oh my he's god he's a comedian that's he makes so jokes. Offensive. that's what he does <laughs> but he was interestingly telling tom that he's actually trying to get rid of those fans and like that makes that makes a lot of sense like at some point it's like you do thank those kind of fans yeah because those um, are the type of people that like like spread the word social media wise and right. like make him big but then it's like it would get to a point where if you want to be a like a serious comedian which obviously he is you sure know what I mean? like, sure yeah um and that that's what was happening to him yeah is that um he uh yeah it was all just like hot moms and stuff so i think he's actually on somebody made a good point he's trying to cancel himself almost mm. he's actually trying to like um, because he knows he actually won't get canceled the real right. fans will still be around sure and, and like, he's probably a decent comedian but everyone's right. just on the whole looks thing and whatever and it's all just girls screaming um but, but i've watched some of his like interviews since and he actually seems like a sweet guy. Like a charming, like nice a sweet, dude, yeah. Yeah, like a nice yeah. guy. I'm not like a douchey, like, you know. Because sure. I feel like in the position that he's in, being attractive and being young and being the status Which everyone told me, is, by the way, so I had to jump in, but everyone was telling me that he wasn't attractive growing up. That was the thing. So he got attracted in the last few gotcha. years. But so that's on. probably why, again. Mm -hmm. So um, I forgot what I was saying. Before. Sorry, sorry. No, I, that's okay. my fault. It's okay. I jumped in. No, yeah, no, I was just saying I've watched just videos of him and he actually seems, because because of how he looks and the status that he is, he could afford to be, like, a kind of a dick and still get away with it. You know what I mean? Semi. Not in comedy. Comedy's a different space where you've still got to be likable. Yeah, you know what I mean? but I feel like you also could get away with being, like, the hot, douchey guy. They're, Possibly. they're out there. Possibly. But he's not. Like, he yeah. seems like he's pretty down to earth and, like, a sweet guy. Yeah, he does. So. Uh, didn't you like look into his tickets and there was something like four or five hundred dollars yeah, for we a regular into ticket? Yeah, we were looking the tickets, but also Why? also it was close to the show. Okay, so all the, the only tickets that were left the expensive ones. were the expensive ones or the really really bad ones. He was coming to Florida, one of the, the city we live in, and we were looking it up, and it was just like outrageously expensive. But he's selling them all out, so like. But that's the thing, though. Who's he selling them to? But like when exactly that's right the thing now, you can afford, not, yeah. yeah. But like when we went to Crystalia, the tickets were like. I don't even remember how much we, I spent on them for us, like 80 bucks a piece. Like right. they weren't that Which much. Which about right for a comedy show. And we yeah. went to like a sem semi-theater. Like yeah. it wasn't huge. Like what, sure. like maybe a thousand people or something. About 1,500, yeah. So, but yeah, these tickets I were like, I was like, okay. I wanted to surprise you with them. And I was like, I can't do that. Yeah, no, I wouldn't <laughs> told you. I mean, it's not really my style of comedy anyway. You know, yeah, I, yeah, I would yeah. like to go see Burr or Chappelle. Well, that's what we were like talking that. about. His, we started to watch his Netflix special and... It just wasn't. I wasn't. It wasn't massive. for us. Yeah, it just wasn't for us. I'm sure it is for somebody. It wasn't for us. Yeah, no, it wasn't it's for stand up. Us. Yeah, um, but that's we'll, the put thing. Leave, we'll put it. We'll leave it at that. We'll but I think positive. his. But again, I, but I think it's because he is 
crowd in this work box. is his thing. Right. And you know? he is in a box that I'm sure there's stuff that he wants to get a bit grittier oh, I'm and sure. a bit I'm edgier sure. and a bit, but right now he can't because he has built. Yeah. And it is a business in the, the day. Well, it because, and that's the thing because when you actually watch some of his like crowd work, for example, he does say some edgy stuff. Like sure. it's, he's, it's not like he's a cookie cutter right, comedian. Right, right, right. So I thought the same thing when we were watching it. I was like, this is kind of like a little bit like tame. It just wasn't yeah. as, but that's probably why you made a good point because True. it is Netflix and you have to like, I guess maybe, I mean, maybe. I don't know. You don't, don't know, know what goes on behind the scenes. I don't know. All right. Cool. Either way, he's talented and we like him. And you fancy him. And I have a big crush on him. Oh, excuse me. Big one. Not just Five minutes ago, I said little crush. Yeah. Now it's a big one. This fucking asshole. <laughs> She had to go but, at me for giving him knuckles having a threesome. About I was about to say exactly you were talking about having. Yeah, that's knuckles, but that's different. That's like guy stuff. Like, yeah, you got yourself a threesome with like mom and sister. That's like, you know, that's not. I, I gotta, yeah, but I, you know, because we've talked on. about this difference between man go and on, woman. On, I can have a cr- I can say I have a big crush on Matt Reif. And that's the end of it. But if he came to me and he was like, which would never happen in a million years. And he was like, hey, you want to like go? Hook? No, I'm married and I love my baby. I love my husband. But maybe... Do you guys believe her? Stop making <laughs> my point. Because there's people there going, point. yeah, I bet not, bitch. Like all of his female fans, I don't fuck that, that fucking ogre. Yeah, they all had to go at me in the ma- la- last Matt Rife video because Why? you said something a lot. You just like the first instant you saw him, you went, he's cute, but he's not that hot. And everyone attacked me. They went, look, he's fucking sitting next to you. I went, usually if you're new to the channel, I usually get attacked all the time for different reasons because whatever, people just don't like me. But... You're all, and for so, and then this time I didn't even do anything. I didn't even say anything. I'm just stood here and you're commenting on him. They all attacked me. I, mean, I don't know. What Wankers. To, I don't know what anyway, to tell you. no one gives a shit. Anyway, um, I love you. You're I love baby. you too, baby. Um, join another conversation. Um, like, comment, subscribe. Any last uh, thoughts, comments, baby? No. Always a pleasure, never a chore. Until next time. See you all later. <laughs>